Hi, Miss Good. Uh, this is a video I thought I'd make because we showed you how to use a laser and use a basic um, shape drawing with Inkscape, but we didn't show you how to create text and export text or import images to trace images. So, uh, the first thing we're going to want to do is find an image um, to use with Inkscape. So, I'm just doing a Google image search. And when you're looking for images, you want to find an image that has a transparent background. So you do this by going to search tools, color, and then clicking transparent at the bottom. This just makes it easier to import into Inkscape and it gives it a much cleaner finish. So I've done this logo a couple times and it works pretty well. So it's just the Clemson University logo. You want to view that image. Um, I found that .gifs and .pngs work re really well. Um, but it might depend on the image. Um, this one looks pretty good. It has a nice, clear, transparent background. So we're going to want to save this image as. Let's do Clemson logo 4. And then we have Inkscape open already. So let's go to Inkscape. Um, you're going to want to set your document properties. Uh, file, document properties. Make sure it's set to the correct height and width of the build area of the laser. Then you're going to want to go to File, Import, and then click on the image you downloaded with that transparent background. This comes up, make sure Embed is marked, and click OK. So this is too big for our build platform right now, so you want to make sure um, this lock is locked. So you keep your aspect ratio of the image when you're shrinking it, so it always keeps to the uh, same ratios it's, it's designed as. So let's zoom in a little bit. And now to turn this into a workable image that works with the laser engraver um, extension, you need to do a couple things. This, this won't work just by a standalone image. So you need to select this, go to path up at the top, uh, trace bitmap, and then go to color quantization. Um, keep colors, you can adjust this, but I found the best results when it's on two. Um, and then you click update and your Clemson University logo will pop up so then you click OK. So this created another file on top of the image um, that's black. Color doesn't really matter because you're only tracing the outline of the image so um, it looks fine to me. So here's the older logo. You can notice some minor discrepancies um, because it's, it's only looking at the color and sometimes depending on the image format um, there's some shading around the colors so you can see in this Y it's, there's some lighter shades of purple compared to the innermost image um, I see this a lot more with .gifs compared to .png images um, but you'll be able to find this out on your own just through experimentation and you'll notice we also we lost some detail in the tiger paw but it still looks pretty good it doesn't have all those little short edges um, either way, it's good enough to be used with the laser cutter. So we take the initial image and click delete. So now this is our main, our main image that we're going to be working with. Make that a little bit bigger. And this is ready to be used um, with the extension. So extensions, laser engraver, laser. Make sure your preferences, uh, the directory, for your exported images is set to somewhere you're familiar with. Laser, you set your laser engraving speed here. You can change the file name. And then you click Live Preview. And you'll see it generated a bunch of arrows on top of our image and then you click Apply. So now, with every time you do this, you wanna make sure you inspect um, your image Okay, so it looks pretty good. It only traced one path along all these letters. So you shouldn't have any issues using this with the laser engraver. Okay. And then you want to make sure your G code looks right. So here's that Go Tigers 2 image I used, and here's all the G codes. That looks fine. So now for creating text. 
um, laser paths. You want to go down to this A, create and edit text objects. You want to just click and you can set whatever text you want. You can adjust the font and the font size up here. So let's change it to, there we go, that's much more like it. So now there's one more thing you need to do before using the laser engraver extension and that's to go to object, no, sorry, go to path um, and then object to path. And then this is ready to be set. Click live preview again, apply, close. And you're getting a perfect laser travel path around that text you created. Like I said before, you always want to make sure your exported file looks good, so this G code looks great. And you're ready to open up G Code Sender and send this to the laser engraver. Good luck.